What's good, Chip? Today I'm back to the video and today I'm going to be talking about the time that Joel and B wanted to get drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. And let's get into it. Joel and B wanted to get drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers in the 2014 NBA draft and play with Kobe Bryant, according to reports. And B was hoping to fall to the seventh pick in the draft, but it didn't happen, as he went third to the Philadelphia 76ers after Andrew Wiggins and Jabari Parker. The Bucks, meanwhile, had locked in on Parker another talent client at number two, and anyway Embiid had no interest in playing in Milwaukee. What he really wanted was to fall to the Lakers at number seven. He'd been living in Los Angeles and grown comfortable in the city. Talon knew there was no chance of Embiid plugging that far, so instead he and Niamh sold Embiid on Philadelphia. It took a bit but Embiid bought in. The Lakers drafted Julius Randle with the seventh overall pick after the Sixers drafted Joel Embiid. Obviously in this situation, the Lakers truly didn't have much of a chance of drafting Joel Embiid given their spot in the draft order. Also, drafting NBA wouldn't have helped the Lakers at that point, as they began their descent to the bottom of the NBA. NB missed the 2015 and 16 seasons due to injuries, which would have made his Lakers debut come in the 2017 season, the first without Kobe Bryant. Although the Lakers would have probably remained a bottom three basketball team in Kobe's final years, the Lakers would have had quite the piece to be around for the future, long before the arrivals of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It's still fun to wonder what the Lakers could have been with Embiid and Bryant, if not for injuries. Remember the Lakers drafted D'Angelo Russell in the 2015 NBA Draft. LA could have had a big three of Embiid, Bryant, and Russell, but that was only going to happen after Embiid recovered from his foot injury. Considering the massive contract that 76ers gave Embiid in 2017, it's highly unlikely he's leaving Philadelphia anytime soon. He's become their star player, and while they do have a problem with consistency, they're still a solid team. It seems like the idea of MB ever wearing purple and gold will always just remain a dream. One of the appeals of playing in Los Angeles in 2014 was that Kobe Bryant was still with the team. Now that MB is a big star, he's probably not going to leave his team to play with LeBron James. Perhaps in 2023, when he finally is finished with his contract, he could want to return to Los Angeles and could thrive being near Hollywood. He'll still be under 30 years old, and if he can stay healthy, he should still be dominant. Imagine pairing him with Anthony Davis, that will be one of the best big man duos in NBA history, but we'll have to wait and see, and that goes the video. What do you guys think of this? Is NB going to the Lakers in the future? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new, and click the bell to get notified of my official videos. I hope you have a great day, peace out.